Saif al Islam, thank you very much for joining us here on RT. Thank you. Well, in 2008, you were welcomed in London. You, uh, Tony Blair embraced your father. You received your PhD from London School of Economics. And now, just three years on, you are a media villain targeted by NATO missiles in your own country, split by civil war. Why do you think uh, has your fate turned so violently? It's a good lesson for everybody, for us and for others. Uh, I, uh, we, we, we heard, uh, uh, I mean, we got uh, mes messages from uh, many countries and we heard many news from Iran, North Korea saying this is your mistake Libyans, you give up your uh, weapons of mass destruction, you stopped developing uh, long-range missiles, you became very friendly with the West and this is the result. So what does it mean? It means this is a message to everybody that you have to be strong, you never trust them and you have to be always uh, uh, on alert because those people they don't, they, don't, they don't have friends over one night they change their mind and they start bombing us and the same thing could happen to any other country talking about mistakes and lessons what would you have done differently one of our big mistakes mm -hmm. that we stopped uh, not we stopped we delayed buying new uh, weapons uh, especially from Russia it was a big mistake by the way we delayed that and we delayed building a strong army because we thought that we will not fight again. The Americans, the Europeans are our friends, we will not fight again. Uh, so uh, not to build a strong and modern army was a big, uh, big mistake because we thought that we solved our problems and now we are a peaceful country and no WMD anymore, no Lockerbie, no more relation, we do business. The Libyans said this, it was our mistake to be very tolerant with our enemies. So now everybody is blaming me that it's because of you, because you were tolerant, you were nice with everybody, and now you brought all the enemies from abroad to Libya, and this is the result. You are charged by the International Criminal Court uh, with designing, quotation, a state policy aimed at deterring and quelling by any means, including by the use of lethal force, the demonstrations of civilians against Gaddafi's regime, which started in February 2011. Does such a policy exist? Come on, they accuse me of uh, killing people. Everybody knows, even the rebels themselves. They are not accusing me of using force or killing, because I'm not in the, in the army, I'm not in the government. So for me to be responsible for killing people, it was a, a big joke. Second joke, that the people who died at the beginning, 159. Most of the people died when they attacked military sites. And this will, will, would happen anywhere in, the, in the, uh, anywhere in the world. In Russia, in America, in France, in Germany, in Italy. If uh, people, in the street, move towards a military site, trying to steal ammunition or arms, the, the, the military will prevent them. And this is what happened in Benghazi. Who were they, these people? Later on, we found out that most of them, they belong to an Islamic groups. But it was too late at that time. Direct question, did you or your father uh, order the army to kill protesters? Of course not. This number one, no. Second, my father called the general Abu Fattah. He's in Benghazi now. He's one of the leaders of the, of the rebels. He called him, and I called him. And uh, the, the, the calls are, are recorded. We told him many times, don't use the force with people. He told us, but they are attacking the military sites. It's a very difficult situation. Who did order? To, Nobody to kill ordered. Them? Nobody. The guards fired. That's it. They fired. At the, the guards were surprised by the attack of the people and they started firing. You, you, they, they don't need the uh, order to, uh, to defend uh, themselves and to defend their, 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 uh, their barracks and their uh, camps. What's the purpose of uh, this warrant uh, when NATO is already trying to kill your father? This court is, is, a, is, a, is a Mickey Mouse court. The sentence or, uh, against, against us is already... Uh, uh, there is cap the capital punishment so they decided to kill me and to kill my father and they did kill my brother and they destroyed my house so the decision is made to uh, execute you so now you are talking about arrest me 
I mean, you did, three months ago, you decided to kill me. And you are after me every day. You are trying to, to find me and to kill me every day, and my father. So, this is number one. Number two, just to tell you that it's a fake court. The, under the table, they are trying to negotiate with us a deal. They said, if you accept this deal, we will take care, take care of the court. What does it mean? It means the court is controlled by those countries uh, which are attacking us every day. It's just to put a, a psychological and political pressure on us. That's it. You say NATO, NATO is trying to kill you, right? Today I was uh, uh, swimming and fishing because it was very hot and we went to the beach. Oh, really? So we are in our country, enjoying our life, fighting for our country, living with our people. If we live, we live in our country with our people. If we die, we go to heaven. So what? NATO is bombing Libya and the Libyan government says that more than 900 people have been killed since the beginning of the operation in March, while NATO has only admitted nine civilian deaths. NATO destroyed our house in the middle of a uh, residential area. Mm -hmm. Small house, surrounded, surrounded by many houses. People are living there. There is a small school next to them. They bombed that house with four missiles. They killed my brother. He young, civilian. He had nothing to do with, with, with the war, with politics. He was studying in Germany. Because of the war, he came back to Libya. He was there, sleeping. They killed him. What NATO said, said uh, we bombed a uh, command and control center. Not command control center. So it was a two bedrooms, kitchen, living room, small house. Just to give you an example from my family, let alone many other examples. One week ago, they hit the house of a friend of my father. Killed the whole family. The wife, pregnant, died. Two young girls, all of them died. And he said, again, we are hitting a military site. A, preg a pregnant wife with her kids. They are controlling and commanding Libyan troops. Come on. It's very silly. It's very funny. Shame on them. They have one target. This country is a piece of cake. Rich, full of gas, oil, and we have more than $100 billion deposits abroad. So we have to share this cake. That's it. And we have to get of Mr. Gaddafi because he's the only obstacle between us and the cake. It's as simple as that. But there are some people saying that if Gaddafi goes, the fighting will stop. Stop? Yeah. Of course not. Because their goal is not Gaddafi. Their goal is to control Libya. Mm -hmm. Is to control Libya. This is the target. And the Libyans will not allow them to do that. Mm -hmm. So the fight will continue. What do you think about media war? Who's winning this war? At the beginning, they won. Yeah, they won. Especially Al Jazeera, they won. Because it was planned from the beginning. It said, Gaddafi is in Venezuela. Uh, the regime collapsed. The rebels uh, occupied Tripoli. And the regime gone. Mm -hmm. uh, to a big chaos in the whole country. We are still now suffering from that chaos. But now the Libyans are aware. One day, everybody in the world is saying, the Libyan, uh, Libyan Navy is bombing the harbor of Mizda. Mizda is in the middle of the desert. It's 1,000 kilometers from here. The, 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 the Libyan ships uh, they are bombing the, the, the harbor of Mizda. Excuse me, what's this? The Security Council issued their resolution against Libya because of a fake media report saying that the Libyan Air Force is bombing a milit um, uh, civilian districts in Tripoli and killing 7,000 people. We've started with the past, let me finish with the future. Uh, it's known that you got a message from the front that there, there will be no place for you in a post-war Libya. And with this um, ICC warrant arrest, you are wanted man abroad. So realistically, where do you go from here? Who? You. Well, uh, many people are angry with me and they are right because they said that uh, the, the, the head of rebels, they were, uh, they, uh, you know, they were my, 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 my friends. And, but at that time, I was very liberal, tolerant, 
and very peaceful. I'm still feeling peaceful to a certain extent. And I thought that uh, Libyans are equals. So, so everybody has uh, the right to, uh, to be in Libya, to work here, to be active, to do whatever uh, they want. But later on we found, not me, that the whole nation found that they were, uh, it was a big conspiracy managed by those people against Libya. So they, they said it's because of you, those snakes managed to penetrate our country and work with partners to destroy our country. So we are very angry with you because you are very tolerant. And don't forget, I released all the prisoners. At the beginning of the events, there were zero prisoners. So everyone's playing because of you. It's just, uh, too much tolerance. But do you think they are right? To be honest, we were, we, we were super tolerant. Mm -hmm. I was naive. Yes. You're no longer naive? Not anymore. How you changed? I will not uh, repeat the mistake. I will not uh, be, uh, be uh, hit again from uh, the same snake, from the same hole. So, I can kiss you, I can forgive you, but I will not forget. So, what you have done is going to be in our mind for a long time. And every move, every, every step will be calculated according to that experience. When all this nightmare will be over, how do you think? Listen, NATO and Rebels, both are in a hurry. They want to finish as soon as possible because they are hungry, they are tired, they want to share the cake. Mm -hmm. It's like, for them, Libya is like fast food, like McDonald's, fast. Because everything should be fast. Fast war, fast airplanes, fast bullets, fast victory. But we are very patient because we are in our country. It's our country. We live here, we die here. So we are very patient. One day, the French will go back to Corsica and France. The Italians will go back to Sicily and Italy. Um, the Danish will go back to Denmark. The Canadians will go back to Toronto. And Libya will be back to the Libyans.